the seventh hour of Adventurers Wanted Rebellion. Uh, my name is Leo, and I'm going to be the Games Master this morning. This is not technically a relaxed performance, but we do have a relaxed attitude to sound and movement from the audience for the benefit of those that uh, would struggle to stay still or silent for an entire hour. The lights are going to stay exactly like this. Uh, the reason it's not technically a relaxed performance is we will have some mood music, and also there will be some sound effects from Wilhelm at the back. Um, so so uh, if you do need anything, please do uh, flag our stage manager, Naomi, who's on your right there, uh, and she'll help you out. If you feel like it's all getting too much, feel free to duck out the door that you came in and ask one of the suite staff to readmit you when you're ready. So, like I said, 87th hour. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's 86 hours of backstory, um, but le le let's give you the salient points, shall we? Um, the four characters you're going to meet were members of a rebellion that uh, had a war uh, because they were being enslaved by a mysterious cult uh, who were making the mine a mysterious ore, which has time-bending uh, explosive properties. Uh, and when those two properties mixed, uh, it, it led to the destruction of their capital city. Over the long protracted war, they decided that no matter uh, if they save their country or not, they needed to make sure this never happened to anyone else. So when they uh, routed the cult off of their planet, they decided to go on an interdimensional chase with them, uh, which led them all over the place to the magical plane of air, the, ma the underdark, the uh, Arthur's seat. Um, <laughs> no, really. Um, and uh, they have found themselves ending up in the next which is a strange clockwork construction uh, which has been claimed to be at the centre of all things. Part of the ore that they were being forced to mine, an enormous monolith of it, is the centrepiece of this nexus. They've been promised that they'll be able to get home, uh, somebody will be able to make a portal for them, uh, but that person has just been kidnapped by a mechanical spider, uh, which, they, yeah, I know, which they've tracked to its nest, and uh, we're going to jump right in there. Uh, but let's meet our characters then. So, uh, starting on my right, uh, tell us your name, your character's name, uh, their pronouns, and give us a little bit about them. Uh, I'm Dominic Allen. I'm playing Testers Windbotherer, a... Hey human sorcerer uh, who has uh, harnessed the power of gas <laughs> natural gas uh, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> less said about that the better uh, he is a he just like me um, I think that's it yep there we go cool Matt uh, I, uh, I'm Matt uh, I'm Matt I'm playing Aircos Aircos Rogue Elf Rather, rather more bookish than a barbarian. Um, uh, he, him, or, or, or as ever, whatever comes naturally. Uh, yes, and you, so you, I'm yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emma. I'm playing um, Katzel, who is a dwarven barbarian. Um, the only retaining character from this morning, so I am, despite being a barbarian, rather low on the health. Um, and it's all on your shoulders. <laughs> Uh, and please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Tara, I use uh, she, her. Um, I'm playing a dragonborn fighter um, named Ethaniel Blake, but just prefers to go by Ethan because it's so much easier. Um, he uses he, him, and doesn't really know what's going on because clockwork's not really his thing. He likes to s smash things and shoot things and <laughs> stab things. And run? Does he like to run? Yeah. Does yeah. he pump his arms while he runs? Yeah. Of course, yeah, you know, it really gets us sort of like going. Ethan! Over, yes. <laughs> cool. Um, um, I think we all know where that's going then. So, um, so let me set the scene for you. Uh, also, if uh, we try and skate over the maths and stuff. Um, oh, I didn't even do that whole bit, did I? So this is, this is a tabletop role-playing game, which means that the four people on the left and right are playing fantasy characters in a fantasy realm. As the Game Master, I control all of the things that aren't them. Uh, we use dice to interact with one another. If any of that confuses you at any point, give us a shout. Um, we try not to get too noodly, try, try not to get too bogged down in it. Uh, and there we are. Uh, so let me set the scene. This, uh, the, the person that they are trying to c catch, the person they're trying to retrieve, rather, rescue, that's the word, uh, is Copper. 
uh, which is, for all intents and purposes, for the whole world, looks to be a small girl trapped in a large uh, suit of armor, a large copper uh, uh, colored suit of armor. But this armor is actually powered by souls that the girl channels uh, to, 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 to make it work. Um, that is who was going to cast uh, the portal for them, was going to create the portal to get home for them. Uh, and that is who is currently worked into uh, a floating, mysterious sort of orb of clockwork detritus, uh, which currently hovers 700 feet above the party um they have seen the retriever this big uh, mechanical spider with sort of a, a spade shaped head and gem eyes uh scuttling around um and this seems to be its nest it seems to be a hoarder it's got all sorts of rubbish all over the floor uh, and they were just trying to work out how they're gonna plumb and get up there um what they have found is a clock paying attention everyone there's a clock on the wall Yes, and there are five bells underneath this clock uh, that uh, one of our uh, bards, Toriel, last hour was playing. As he hit each bell, a panel uh, extracted itself from the wall uh, and uh, created a sort of makeshift platformy staircase that would get you at least halfway up this shaft towards the retriever. Um... As you watch, Toriel uh, really gets upset about the fact that his glasses were broken last session uh, and decides to go, I know, and decides to go off and uh, and get them fixed. <laughs> well, there we are. Not, not, not well enough, apparently, because he still rolled a critical failure on the... Yes. <laughs> the clock is fixed at sort of five-ish, four-ish, somewhere around there. It's halfway between. You can see the big hand is pointing at the three, and the small hand is between the four and the five. As the bells, as the sound of the bells fades, the panels all fold back into the wall with this incredible creaking noise. It sounds like these things haven't been operated for hundreds of years uh, and need a good oiling. Um, and pieces of sort of detritus and clockwork fall down, scatter down as they move. Uh, that was 60 feet above you. So to get onto it, you'd already have to... Be you'd already up. have to climb 60 feet up. Do you know what, guys? I, I don't do bells. Um, it's not my thing. But I can get up there so that when it goes, I can be near it. Sensible enough. The uh, the elf who's been guiding you through this uh, sort of um, and and that makes for some reason makes it sound like a for those of you who've just recently watched this enchantment, I think more Tolkien elves than that. Um, uh, the elf that's been guiding you through here uh, sort of turns very excitedly and goes, um, uh, "That clock looks like the one before. Perhaps it's something to do with the clock itself." Have we tried fiddling with the clock? Um, uh, no, I just got here. Yes. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's have a go. Uh, how, far, how far up the clock? Is that? The clock is uh, head, uh, head oh, height. That, it's just with you. Yeah, it's just... And the bells are just... It looks like a mantelpiece clock. Oh, right. Sort of in the side of the wall. Okay. Can I just reach up and twirl the dial? Yeah, which way are you twirling it? Clockwise. Clockwise. Um, can I get perception checks from everybody, please? Oh, that's very good. Eleven. Eleven. A natural one. Oh. <laughs> I've got one. So, so why, why, why does Testus not see anything that's about to happen? Um, I'm probably looking up to see, to try and work out where the top panel is from that, and I've slipped and fallen over that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick yourself up? Twelve from Ethan. And... Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Oh. From Aircos, that's good. Um, um, so... Look at that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Testus, Eastland, you're both concentrating on Catsell as she pushes the hand of this clock around. Um, however, Aircos, you've always been sort of uh, had your head in the clouds. And as you chin back, looking up at this sphere above you, 
as Catsell pushes the clock around, you notice the retriever speeds up. As you're watching it scuttle around the uh, the sphere, it goes. It's suddenly moving very quickly around this sphere. Um, yes, there you go. And copper as well, sort of like looking back and forth. Uh, it suddenly becomes almost as if you're watching it in fast forward. Mm, yeah. um, none of the rest of you notice that, and can't sell you. Take your finger away from the clock and feel no different. Right, gonna go the other way. Oh, as you okay, Echo. Uh, well, <laughs> too late, gone. <laughs> okay, uh, Ercos, As you're watching, as Catsell does it, all of the movements that you've just watched happen in reverse. Ooh, okay. So, um, this that you're doing with the time seems to have a, a direct impact on what's happening here. Uh, as we go forward, everything moves far too quickly for my comfort, and as we go back, thusly, it moves. Back. So we should spin um, it all the way back so that it goes much, much slower so that then we can fight it better because then, then it'd be really slow. Well, I'm not sure that okay. it's, if it's we not were to go sp- back it would, it would then impact the speed of progression going thereafter. R- rather, um, <laughs> if, if, if... We'd have to stop the clock. That's it. The I clock is stopped. She's making this face but, at you. But, it's not working. But as, as, oh. as we go back to the very sort of beginning, perhaps uh, we can begin to go... Uh, 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 hmm, towards the, the fundamental stages of the nest making. Uh, Can I interrupt I don't you? Know how far back that would need to be. How many minutes did you put it back? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. Can I get perception checks from everybody, please? Oh, that's not as good. Oh, eighteen. Eighteen. Five. Five. Seventeen. Seventeen. That's good enough. Sixteen. You're changing D20 yeah. there. <laughs> okay, so everybody but Testus hears some clanging and some some voices from back the corridor back, uh, that you came down from. Yeah, Testus, Testus is... I don't know what's going on with Testus. Indigestion, probably. Indigestion. Yeah. <laughs> no, never am. No. <laughs> Noises and clanging that sounds like us? It sounds... Yes, yeah. It for, can't sell... For your benefit, yeah, this sounds... You can hear the conversations that you were just having half an hour ago as you climbed up to the tracking room before. But I'm still here. But you're still here. Can I move back another ten minutes? You're also that way. Back another ten minutes or forward another? Back. Back, okay. As you press the, uh, the clock back another ten minutes, you can see the retriever scuttles over in front of Copper, pulls it out of pulls copper out of the sphere and then uh, jumps backwards onto the wall, scuttles backwards and disappears into the wall 700 feet up in the air. Oh, that's cool. Can I move it forward 10 minutes? Yeah, and the retriever comes out, (laughs) scuttles down the wall, jumps onto its sphere and uh, it's holding copper with its mandible arms and then shoves copper into the sphere, uh, putting all sorts of gears around it so that it stays in place. With the twenty-eight of my head in the clouds, can I have seen that? You, you've definitely seen all of that. You, you've become aware of this as well, Ethan. Testus, how's your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, that's 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 quite good fun, isn't it? I mean, I could just. Well, but there's a I, stop, I, stop. I really, <laughs> really would just stop and think about this for a second. Um, I What's going on? <laughs> Can we fill him in? Uh, yeah, sure. But but but, yeah. but but we can move it back to when it wasn't in the thing, so when we can get it and it's not in the thing. I'm sorry, your use of the word thing is perturbing. Um, if what? we if we if we get up there and someone moves the time back, we can get the thing before it's not in the thing. What? The, the robot before it's not in the sphere. Robot before it's not in the sphere. Just to be right. clear, where did we leave it? Where? Did, um, what? Where? Where? Because you said you're going back and forth and back and forth. Back. Right, so up above you, 700 feet above you, the, the, the retriever is in normal time climbing out of the wall and putting copper into the sphere. Correct. We could, we've got um, Nagasaki, so she could she could do it. I could do what? What can I do? Oh, well, not nothing just yet. You're doing such a good job. Thank you. We'll tell you when it's time. Do you want me to climb again? No! no. She wasn't very good last two hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's been quite useless. <laughs> but see, see, see. Okay. So why don't I climb up to the lever thing and you push the lever and I'll go up? 
lever. What happens if you ding the first bell? So you ding the first bell, yep. and it goes ding, and the the platform creaks and opens itself sixty feet above you. Right. Yeah. So she, we climb. She dings the bell. We go. You want me to ding the bell? No. As the sound of the bell stills, the lever, uh, the platform. Did if it just from folds one hit, back did in. it go all the way up? Yeah, yeah, it went okay. all the way up. Okay. But then, because the the bell lasts about four or five seconds. Yeah. Perhaps one round, um, and at the end of that round, the platform folds back away. Okay. Um. I'm quite intelligent. <laughs> Cat's hell is not. <laughs> That's fine. Just going to put that out there. Just for the sake of this, use use Emma's intelligence. <laughs> and roll for it if you feel like you need to. That's fine. I think, I think what we should do is we should climb up, get the first platform. None. Uh, uh. Nerisaga. 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 Nerisaga can Nerisaga. do all the operational stuff down here. And we'll be up there so we can get copper back. Which is what we came here for. The spider bots. You mean we get to fight the retriever? What is wrong with this plan? <laughs> I'm not telling there's anything wrong. With it. <laughs> uh, there might be a, a slight. How how back. difficult do you feel this mission is getting, Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's? Do you I think it's really possible? <laughs> oh yes, it's definitely possible. I get to stab something. It's gonna be great. Uh, Okey dokey. Uh, so what are we doing, gang? I'm quite tempted to see, and uh, this is just an idea for now. What if we were to move the arms forward, bring everyone who's out there in here? Thus everyone who's out there is us. Yes, but we're they're hearing, out here we're hearing, and in here. No, we're hearing echoes in time. Uh, uh, they can't be both in here and in here again. We're already here. I mean, you can, but it would yeah. be interesting. Do it! Go for it! Whiz, whiz, whiz! Forward, okay, forward. Very quickly, you see, uh, watching down the corridor, you see uh, yourself do an amazing combat roll over the, the trap, and then everybody comes up the corridor that you came through and stands there, and they can see you. And... <laughs> I, are you going to do, do me? Am I going to do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. I'm going to do everybody to their faces. Uh, everybody takes four psychic damage as uh, as you watch. There's actually... The wall begins to crack and this sort of green light starts pouring in. Gosh, I never realised that I looked quite so, you know... Short compared to everyone else before. Yes, no, I, I never realised that either. Yeah, it's really strange, isn't it? It's very strange. Can you turn around? Why don't you turn around first? Okay, look. Yeah, you still look quite short. What does the hair look like from the back? It looks really good, actually. We did a good job this morning. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's making it's me feel that, a lot all more that, confident. All that boredom, it just, yeah, well, you know. All that time. You've got to go somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I mean, we just came to find. Co- oh. Oh, we yeah. just came to find copper. Yeah, we've been here about ten minutes already doing that. Yeah. Okay, now I'm weirded out. Yeah, there's there's a time thing. It's can I can I can I try and? Sure. So you touch yourself, yeah. Catzel. Uh, can I get a? Uh, mm, I don't even know what this would be. Uh, can, let's get an intelligence saving throw. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Um, as you touch yourselves, this green light seems to pour out between the two of your fingers, and both you and past you take three points of psychic damage, meaning you take six points of psychic damage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Does anyone bring any healing magic, by the way? Did I mention that I'm quite low? No? My specialty is wind, I'm afraid. Sorry. That's concerning. Um, so, hang on a second. So there's ten of us now. Yes. Yeah. Is... Is there any way that this can be used to our advantage? Well, not if we stand next to each other. What happens if you touch one of the other ones? Me? Uh, Okay. (laughs) All right, all right. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing, I don't think. Cool. Um, 
what happens if what happens if we touch the person at the same time? Dwarves. Okay, intelligence saving throw. <laughs> Dwarves. That's a six. Six. So, uh, you take. Oh God. So there is a searing light covering your eyes, and there's this just this thumping in your mind. Um, I've rolled quite high. Cool. Where are you at? Fifty-one. I've got. I've rolled thirty. So you would take 30 points of psychic damage as both you and past you kneel down with your hands over your head, screaming in pain. Did anything happen to him? Did anything happen to you? You take 15 points of psychic damage. Okay. Well, if if, if we do use this um, this curiosity to our advantage, we should be very, very careful, I think. Have you investigated the room yet? Yes. So we've determined that by ringing the bells, it makes a platform Okay. And by moving, These bells. Yes, those ones there. The, the new Nerasaga goes over and goes, like no, this. No, no. Oh. And goes, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and the five <laughs> platforms all open up uh, above you and yes. then close as the bells yes, finish. Yes, yes, like that. Um, and then if you, and I'm looking at both of the Nerasagas this point. Yeah. And then. We don't need a demonstration. We've demonstrated it. Quite enough, <laughs> very much. If you move the hand of the pot forwards, time seems to go forwards. If you move it backwards, it seems to go backwards. We're not Wait, if we move it back, do you think they'll leave the room? Move it back? Yeah, you move it back and they, they walk backwards out of the room. You watch yourself. You move it just for <sighs> back enough to watch yourself go backwards in the combat roll and then forwards again. If we was it forwards enough, do you think they'll come in and solve it for us? <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Yeah. I mean, it would stand to reason, wouldn't it? But that's only if the certainty of... That's only if you solving this problem is a certainty. Uh, and it might kill us. It might kill you. I yes. mean... Uh, let's not do that. All ten of us. So, there's, five, there's ten of us, currently. And they've not come out into the why don't us five the Wait, they come back that, into the room uh, and by the way we're not going to do it again but by the way you have the same conversation do, do any of the ones who come in have healing magic uh yes the was yeah 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 okay so I'm going to say that the, the two bards that were in here previously heal you for uh I've just rolled two eight, sorry maths two eight, 25 26 just because there's this thing, right? When you let the bear fill you, yeah, you don't you don't take psychic damage as, as hard as you could, but it will still take psychic damage if we both touch it. Ah. And it will take double what we take. It's a robot. Damn it. I mean, it's a good idea. It was a really a really nice lateral thinking that I was unprepared for, but it is a robot. Just so you're aware. I didn't write down how much healing you just gave me. I just rubbed out what I had. <laughs> 26. You. <laughs> you just rubbed out. <laughs> yeah. You have no hit points ever. <laughs> right. I mean, it seems obvious to me, says Nerisaga. Um, and Nerisaga goes, yeah, we just stay here and ring the bells constantly while you guys run up the bells, right? Run up the platforms. Run up the bells. Run up the platforms. Nerisaga, where have you been? <laughs> uh, well, first we went out through the oh, corridor no, no. and then... Stop, uh, stop, 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 stop. Sorry. Yes, we need to climb 60 feet to that first platform. Who's with me? 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 <laughs> Are you with me, me? Are you coming, me? Um, shall I come? Yeah, yeah. Is it a good idea if yeah, I come? Yeah, just don't touch me. Okay, I'll try not to touch you. Yeah. Do you want to roll twice for yourself, or shall I? <laughs> um, how does it work if I rage? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, uh, so you, you'll... Would I need to use two rages if both other. of them raged? Yeah, you would. Okay, yeah, I'm if not going to bother. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, <laughs> grey is grey is you, red is me. Oh, nice. Uh, you got twenty-one. Oh, and that's I got lovely. Twenty-six. So the two of you very handily climb up to the point where you're trying you're trying to be uh, over the platform, yeah. Yeah, so that I can get on. Like, so that so when it lifts, I'm you drop on onto it. it. Or yeah. I'm already on it. Or you're already on it. Oh, yeah. right. Okay, so the platform's in the wall, and you're hanging onto the platform <laughs> uh, as it's in the wall. Uh, everyone else? 
Are you so you've all got doppelgangers in this room as well, but they're not doppelgangers, they're your past selves. Um, if you would like me to do impressions with of you, then we can have conversations between ourselves. But um Aircos is just incredibly shyly like looking at you like I'm just trying to avoid being downwind of myself. <laughs> 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 just forever circling. <laughs> I've got some rope. I can drop down if you need a if you need a hand. Yes. Yeah, so it'll be athletics. If it's, so, if everybody's doing climbing up. Um, oh, my question was: Are you all bringing your past selves up, or would some of you like to leave your I, past I selves down think here? If we were to bring everyone up, it might be an idea to pair up with someone else of the past um, yeah so as to allow for leg ups and okay. yeah 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 everyone Echos, you're mine everyone choose a buddy you're already up there i'm well, taking yeah. the dragon what? why why are you taking someone <laughs> You're, you're, you're 60 feet I'm, in the I'm air. Shouting. You've You've climbed up onto the platform. <laughs> Do you want me to drop some rope down? I think we can yes. manage, maybe, but some of the others might need the rope, so probably a good idea. I'd like the rope. <laughs> <laughs> at, yeah, kind of looking at you, basically. Can like I try and tie some rope onto something whilst also holding on? Make a sleight of hand check. If I uh, if they do throw the rope down, can I? Uh, no. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. Yeah. No. You just drop the rope. Oh. I've thrown some rope down. <laughs> can I? Can, can I? I? Do some, uh, past your past self is like, I've still got rope, and oh, the rope appears in your hand. If you've got the revolver. Oh, this is revolver. Can, I, can I try again? Yeah. <laughs> 19. 19, okay, this time you tie, you both tie your ropes <laughs> onto the side of the wall and drop the ropes down. Um, Bet you're glad you this is the hour you came and watched. <laughs> <laughs> rather, than, rather than climb, can the pair of us do um, a series of uh, cartwheels, jumping jacks, and then spring up onto the rope acrobatically <laughs> rather than athletic? So you basically, you want to trapeze art your way up the rope. I want to use my acrobatics. Yeah, my go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Inexplicably, I'm and really you're pairing good at acrobatics up and not athletic at all. To be clear, you're pairing up with Testus as well, um, but because Aircos has taken other Ethan and yeah. uh, uh, Ethan other Aircos sort of waves at you. Goes, I also would like to take the dragon. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, well, sure, but I'm uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> confused. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. But we'll, we'll make sure not to touch each other. Okay. Which we, we would want to. I'm loving uh, this so rolling technique. So uh, blue, blue <laughs> is me and red is the other one. Five and a six, uh, plus two on each. So that's a okay. seven and a... So you try and, ac- <laughs> you try and acrobatically sort of, <laughs> you know, trapeze artist your way up and, yeah. and uh, wind your way up. But uh, one, almost immediately, one of his legs touches you. <laughs> can, I get, can I get an intelligence saving throw, please? Uh, that is uh, 10. Okay, uh, you take 20 points of Ooh. psychic damage as this green light sears through your mind. Uh, Ethan well, and air courses. <laughs> Ethan's and air courses. <laughs> uh, your turn. <laughs> I'm trusting you're fairly capable of climbing. Um, I think I am, yes. It's uh, <laughs> athletics, yeah. In, in which case, I'm going to have seen what Mr. Wimbobber attempted and perhaps Mr. Wimbobber like it. <laughs> and and do it better yes. okay <laughs> sure sure so you you get advantage because you are using climbing gear as well so if you'd like to roll I roll for me first and then yeah we'll okay it. Whew. we're getting there guys we're getting there <laughs> I wrote this bit. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Other Ethan gets a double crit. Ah, uh, a crit failure. Fail. Okay, cool. Oh. Other Ethan just tries to and slides fail. down the rope, just like me in PE. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> slides down the rope. <laughs> it goes. I'm. Go- I'm going to stay down here. Uh, is that um, all right? We need to have a chat later. Yeah. We really do. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just 
stay there. Don't touch anything. And as you're watching it, you remember you start to get like slight <laughs> rope burns on your hands as you remember that happened to you oh, earlier no. today. I was I was thinking about this, guys. We should probably try and avoid damaging the past versions of us. Because when we damage the past versions of us, we take more damage. So maybe we should just, you know, be careful what we do with them. Yes. Don't treat them as expendable. Probably a good idea. Um, <laughs> uh, what, one of us got an 11. Okay. And uh, Which one of you got an 11? <laughs> choose wisely. Other, other air costs got an 11. Other air costs. Okay. <laughs> I'll just give you that one, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you are no, you're using climbing gear. So if you're just oh, climbing up, oh, then that was, then yes, eleven. If I'm taking advantage, yeah. And uh, this is not good, is it? Thirteen, four. Hey, that's slightly better. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay, Testus, you watch as the elf uh, show show off. Um, <laughs> kind of makes up, makes up for when he calls you Mr. Windbotherer um, <laughs> flips his way up the rope and then grabs onto the wall at the top and lets the rope fall majestically back down behind him other Aircos is like I, I, ooh, mm, well I know I can do that because <laughs> obviously I just watched I can do that so I'm just gonna mm, I'm just gonna climb I'm just gonna <laughs> and uh, climbs up the rope so there are now four, uh, five of you hanging onto this platform at the top there. Two, two, <laughs> two cat cells, two air gosses, one air Ethan, and then at the bottom there's one, one Ethan and two testuses. <laughs> two testes? <laughs> um, that was going to happen eventually. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, what would you like to do, testus? Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I guess... I think I'll leave the other testers down there. Okay. I'll try again. Okay, cool. But maybe I'll just climb it. Okay, if you're just going to climb it, uh, you get advantage on the roll. So, athletics. That's 12. Yep. And that's a natural 20. Natural 20. Hey. <laughs> 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 so, you so pissed off with that. <laughs> and not to be outdone, you bound up. <laughs> just you don't even use your legs; just hand over hand. I just use pull. nervous energy inside myself. <laughs> and also a little yeah, bit of wind magic yeah, behind yeah. you, uh, pushing you up. Okay, so six of you are now positioned over the platform. Pull up the rope. Yep, you pull up the rope. Yep. Down on the floor, there is one Ethan and one Testus. And two Nagasaki. And two Nerisagas. Uh, Nerisagas. Nagasaki. Ring the bell! <laughs> which which one of us ah. rings the bell? Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just... No, I'll just... Okay, Testus, I'm just Testus, I'll do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Testus goes forward and rings the first bell, and as the six of you hold on, <laughs> you, the, the platform swings open, and you're suddenly face down on the floor. And then... The it's bell's gonna stop ringing. Jump off onto the wall. Grab the wall. Okay. What happens if, what happens if the other testers just keeps ringing the bell? Yep. Stay. Other testers just continues ringing the bell, and the platform stays. Right. Someone ring the second bell just I so can, we can see where it is. Sh sh shall I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> testers brings out its left hand, uh, and now the two notes do and do are ringing simultaneously, <laughs> and the platforms. The, the second platform swings up is it's it? about 60 feet away you could easily jump it uh, if you were in a rage you could easily jump it you're I'm, fine I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna climb you're gonna climb fair enough both of me are gonna climb both of you are gonna do you wanna roll for that yep I tend to The tension's killing me, Emma. I know. It's because it's because they're all fresh and I'm not. So I've got things that I've already <laughs> used. Um, okay. Um, I. Oh dear. Currently, got twenty-one. Previous me got eleven. Okay. Previous you is just slower. It's it's cool, not like fine, it's not like fine. she falls, but she's much slower. And you're pace your way over to the second. Come platform on, you're doing so well. Yes, I know. Stop being patronising. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least this isn't boring. <laughs> 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 Aircos. Yeah. Um, well, I, I suppose 
We're going for the jump. Um, uh, 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 after you. No, no, please. Uh, after you. No, I, 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 I insist. Uh, <laughs> now you all know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we could be here some time. Just bloody jump. Okay, Get right, on so with it! Uh, Acro- Acrobatic goes first. Past you goes first. Fifteen. Fifteen, yep. Yeah. You do a, a, a an easy sort of front flip midair and land... Uh, and turns, he turns around and goes, See, you can definitely do it. It's, it's fine. Arse. Oh. Oh. Eight. Uh, and as you say arse underneath your breath, you do, go for the jump and you're just... You're gonna miss it. But the other you reaches out to try and catch you. Are you gonna catch his arm? Oh, God. No. Can I try and catch him? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Roll athletics check quickly. To push air, push air cost out of the way. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. So the barbarian quickly pushes uh, air cost, other air cost, ah. out of the way, and then the dwarf lifts you up one armed and places you back down on <laughs> on the platform. Don't touch each other. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Leave room for Bahamut. Um, I always thought touching myself was the one safe option. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, test us. What's the deal with the rope now? Did you take it from the floor and move it up? Or no? Yeah, the rope went with oh. the rope went with uh, Cassel. I can, I can, I can. Well, I'll tie. What I'll do is I'll tie it on up here. Right? You know you have flying powers, yeah? Oh no, not really. Well, if you cast spells, you can only ten feet. Okay, fair enough. Can, can you, I'll, I'll could t- you, look, look, I'll could you maybe turn here. into something that can fly? Sh- sorry, three people. Sorry. Who's gonna talk? Could you maybe turn into something that could fly? Oh. <laughs> no, you're thinking of the druids. I never really says got on other with uh, says other <laughs> testers from down. No, you're thinking of the druids. <laughs> <laughs> I never really got on with magic. Sorry. The um, other, the Nerissaga. You can see that one of the Nerissagas is moving towards the third and fourth bell, and it's like, can, stop can it! I, it can stop I, it! Stop it! Stop wait, it! Okay. Just wait. Okay. I'm gonna tie on the rope and throw it back behind. Uh, roll athletics check. I mean, you're fine, but... 18. 18, yeah, she just chucks the rope over and there's now a small, almost rope bridge leading from the platform above and to the platform where you, you Ethan, and uh, Testus are stood. Do I hear tightrope walk? Okay. You're fi- are you a dex based fighter? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. There we are. So, mm-hmm. That's 14. Fantastic. Uh, it's not pretty, but you do manage to sort of clamber your way up the rope. Tesslas? Uh, I shall also attempt something acrobatic. Okay. In You're going to do exactly what Ethan just did. You're going to yeah. clamber around the rope. Yeah. Looking very gymnastic Sweet. as you were going. It's going to be fantastic. It is, I'm sure. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Ah! Oh, that's a 16. That's 16? A 16. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and you do what Ethan did, but ever so slightly more gracefully. Um, you, because you don't have a tail nice to manage, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you're all, all on the second platform. Would you like to explain to me your plan? And or then we can do, sort of... Just, can we just do the same thing over and over until we get up to the top? Yeah, absolutely. I'll say just everybody give me one acrobatics roll. Acrobatics? Uh, athletics or acrobatics, sorry. Acrobatics. 14. 14? 20. 20. 15. 15. 15. 11. 11. Okay. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll say that on one occasion, Ethan needed to be ca- caught. Yep. Um, and, yeah, and... Uh, and uh, I keep forgetting Cat Cell. Sorry, sorry. A different character yesterday, so two names. Good. Yeah, uh, and Cat Cell <laughs> reaches and grabs you. You don't manage to just quite handily lift the Dragonborn up. You have to, you have to put some effort into. Oh, seven foot tall. Large tail. There you are. Aircos helped. Did you just? Did you just? Did you just elf handle my tail? Not to put too fine a point on it. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll please, just. Please, I'll be over. don't. I apologise. <laughs> you could have. I'm don't. sorry. You find yourself on the fifth platform, down below. One Testus and two Nerissagas <laughs> are furiously <laughs> playing these bells. You're doing great, guys. 
You can stop playing the don't earlier stop one. Stop playing the bell. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> She's, she, she, don't, 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 don't confuse her. She can't. She can't. She really, really can't. Don't. <laughs> 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 it's lovely when the dice dictator character <laughs> um, so they're furiously playing these bells down below and you hear I mean, the five it notes sounds horrible yeah Jeez. I mean it was nice and melodic when it was played in sequence but together it's like ah oh. um, this leaves you just a couple of hundred feet away from the sphere now standing uh, above you and you can see the retriever um, none of you have tried to be particularly stealthy in no. this approach have you no yes <laughs> Can I get perception checks from everybody, please? Oh, God. 16. 16? 14. 14. You can't see. Neither ne- neither Cat Cell can see the retriever. Uh, made up to 20. 20? Made up to 12. 12, so neither Aircos can see the retriever <laughs> either. But the people who don't have four pairs of eyes, have four eyes up here, two pairs of eyes each up here, um, you can see that the retriever has actually tried to hide itself in amongst the detritus. It's pretty good. Um, when it stops moving, it kind of blends in, but especially you, Ethan, you, you're just at the right angle where it's just 3D and you can see it in relief against the wall and you're like, it looks like it's ready for an ambush and you get the impression that it knows you're here. Can I, can I, um, <coughs> so do I, do I recognize that as well? Uh, not quite that last bit, not but right, right. if Ethan wants to... So just before we do anything, um, the retriever over there looks like it might be setting up um, to pounce, probably, ambush uh, or something. Over, over where? It definitely knows we're here. Oh, can I you just point idea. it out again? There and there and there and that little bit there. That, Bloody that hell, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Um, if I shout, but can the retriever understand this thing? Or do I think? It does understand three languages, well, but I you'll have to. It doesn't understand common. Well, I'll, I won't take the risk. I will message. I'll cast message to the tester stand below. Okay. <laughs> to wind the clock back a couple of minutes. Will that affect us? Uh, yes. Oh. It'll affect the platforms, and it'll affect the fact that there's nobody ringing downstairs. I don't, I don't know if you mess with time. But I mean, it's a nice idea. I like where you're going to with it. it. Um, okay. But it. now that it's been pointed out, we I can, can see it. it. You can, can see it. it. Can, I, can I be inspired to hide? <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with it, but fine. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, roll, roll two stealth checks. Thanks. That's uh, a two. I just went back the wrong way. It could have been an 18. Uh, so that's a 14. Okay. Oh, that's not much better. Uh, that's an 18. There's not many places to hide up here. I mean, you're on a platform next to a clockwork wall, but you sort of take a few pieces of cogs and detritus and blend yourself in a little bit with the wall (laughs) pressed up against it. To the rest of you, to the one, two, three, four of you, it looks absurd and ridiculous. But you trust him. He's been really good at stealthing before, hasn't he? For those of you who've not met him before, he has been really good at stealthing before. (laughs) Well, well, I think. And why don't we just Gone get it? Why days, don't we it? just get it over here so we can fight it? I'm with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Okay, so <laughs> what are we gonna do to to start this off then? Oh. Get it over here! Now! I drop a few cogs. <laughs> and in fact, the other cat cell joins in as well. And there's two of you going. Ah! Can I get initiative rolls do from I have everybody? To, do I have to tick off two Can I rages? Constitution. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, huh? Do I have to tick off two rages? <laughs> nah, I'll be all right. I'll be, I'll be kind. What did everyone get? Uh, sorry, what am I making? Uh, that was an eight for me. Eight. Uh, seventeen. What am I rolling for? In- uh, initiative. Initiative. Add, you, add your dex. Thank you. Uh, 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 so. What did you say? 17. Ethan? 13. 13. Air cost? 8. 8 again. Who has the highest dex? It's air cost. Uh, Oh, you have a 14. Yeah, yeah, it's air cost. Um, Okay, and my retriever is 19. As you scream, the retriever with an alacrity that you were not, you're surprised at, um, although actually maybe you're the only person who's not surprised, rears its head 
and opens down this mouth okay. and it fires at past Cat Cell. Can I get a constitution saving throw from past Cat Cell, please? With advantage because you're raging? Question mark? No, that would, no okay. That would be. That would be. Yes. Oh, right, okay. 14. 14. Uh, as you watch, past Cat Cell is really conveniently frozen and paralyzed, <laughs> <laughs> paralyzed in place <laughs> as her muscles freeze up in a rage position with her Warhammer. Um, and look great. And just as... <laughs> you've really worked well on your biceps over the last few days. That flex, though. Um, and as battle is just about to be joined, I'm really sorry, but that is that is time. That's where we're going to have to leave this oh, hour of Adventures Wanted. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do come... Thank you very much. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do come back again. Like I said earlier, we're running until the end of the month, so we have... 12 more hours to go no 13 more hours to go including the next hour um we're on your social medias on instagram facebook and on twitch at adventurers wanted uh, and we're on twitter at adventurers 250 if you can't find your way back here that's fair enough but you can catch up on twitch and twitter uh until the end so we've been live tweeting the whole thing that's what nay's been doing with her laptop uh, and live streaming as we've been here we've also got a patreon uh, page and a do donate button on our website so if you do feel like out on the interwebs you want to support us please do we do this every month in london and we do free play events to try and get yeah uh to do free play events to try and get D, &D as a hobby to a wider more inclusive audience um just before we say goodbye i'm gonna throw over to a couple of uh, to our players to for a couple of plugs uh, that they'll be involved in uh should we start with yourself dom sure thing. Uh, i'm doing a show called providence the shadow over lovecraft it's at five o'clock assembly front rooms it's um a horror comedy biography of hp lovecraft the grandfather of modern american horror um the british theater guy gave us five stars it's a lot of fun Come along. I loved only, it. Only three shows left. Oh. Um, so come along. Come along. Uh, I'm involved in a new musical <coughs> called My Left Right Foot the Musical. It's playing Assembly Roxy every day at 6.10. Uh, we are lucky enough to be a sellout run, but please get yourself and to an Assembly box office at 4, 10 past 4, and hope for returns. And Fringe Award winning, aren't you? Yeah, well. Fringe First, Herald Angel, and uh, uh, British Theatre Guide, I think. So someone's given us best new musical as well which is excellent awesome nice thank you um, um, so I'm I'm up here as a punter so um, but I do play with adventurers in London so in Omen so if you're in London you should come along um, and also starting a Curse of Strahd live play podcast so um, I've been shouted out on Twitter by adventurers um, at our shared. fantastic um, I'm not in anything myself but I've got a friend of mine who's basically set up their own um, theatre company called um, Typecast and is putting on basically a re- telling of As You Like It by Shakespeare, um, basically with an alternate ending. It's at Paradise and Augustine's at 10 o'clock, then they've got a few more runs to go, um, but it's really well worth it because it explores a lot of the themes that are in already, but just changes the ending slightly to be more as it should have uh, in their mind. Um, so it's really, really good. I've cool. I, I, I've definitely actually heard of that, and so I've heard good things yeah, about it. Yeah, uh, a lot of people have um, put some good reviews about it, so it's well, it's the first time that they actually put anything on as well, so. Awesome. Right, uh, last thing is, uh, please do show your appreciation for our players <laughs> for dealing with my nonsense, <laughs> uh, my time-bending nonsense.